So the astrophysicists are getting excited about something? Like they're all tweeting to each other, like they know something that we don't know. So Hank Green is tuned into physics Twitter and physicists are apparently gonna announce something crazy tomorrow, the 28th of June. If he doesn't know what it's gonna be, no way I'm gonna know, but he did leave a breadcrumb. If you wanna get caught up, check out Pulsar Timing Arrays. So pulsar timing arrays are mostly known as a way to detect gravitational waves which are caused by supermassive binary black holes. Almost all galaxies, including our own Milky Way, have a supermassive black hole in the center. And they might have masses millions or billions of times the size of the sun. Huge mass holes, I call them. And when galaxies collide in galactic mergers, those huge mass holes can end up orbiting each other in close proximity. And as they orbit each other, they bend the fabric of the universe. And that generates gravitational waves that propagate away from the supermassive black holes at the speed of light. Now pulsars are super magnetized neutron stars that spin really dang quick and spit out radiation from their magnetic poles. They're like cosmic lighthouses sending flashes of light towards us at regular intervals. And pulsar timing arrays focus on bunches of millisecond pulsars that have rotational speeds of less than 10 milliseconds of rotation. Those are the fastest fucking lighthouses out there, boy! <laughs> so a bunch of teams of scientists who run the, some of the largest radio telescopes on Earth are collaborating with each other under the title of the International Pulsar Timing Array Project. Together, they're focusing on sets of millisecond pulsars out there, carefully observing arrival times of the pulses. With their powers combined, they can observe tiny differences in when those pulsar pulses arrive at the radio telescopes. As gravitational waves pass over us and the space between us and them pulsars, the space itself contracts and expands. And that causes little differences from when the pulses arrive versus when they would arrive without gravitational waves. So how can having a better understanding of how gravitational waves work fundamentally change your understanding of physics? Maybe they're changing our understanding of the early universe. Or maybe they're changing our understanding of fundamental physics. Or they might not be doing nothing related to anything I've been talking about. What do you think? I really have no idea, but I'm really excited about tomorrow.